morning everybody it's a beautiful Saturday morning November 7th I believe getting ready to go over to my buddy's house there's the porch from last week that's just one coat of paint that's another thing I'm going to do today but uh, right now I'm getting ready to go over to the guy's house and we're going to cut down a tree then I'm going to go over to my father-in-law's with my family and we're going to move a whole bunch of dirt for his garden. Well, you'll see. Oh no. There we go. That's the guy. I told my neighbors, Kurt and Ed. It's about the tree. It's really close to the house, especially that side right there. But we'll probably top it. And, and that one here will just come straight down. We got the uh, trees, or the tree split into two. We got the tree down, and uh, I forgot my chainsaw. And my wife and kids aren't ready to go over to uh, father-in-law's house to help move the dirt. So I came back to my house to get my uh, wheelbarrow, chainsaw, and some hand tools. I'll go back over and help clean up and <coughs> clean that tree up until they're ready. Wow, what a nice day. This is awesome for this. Let's see if we can... Blue sky. Awesome. Yeah. Alright boys and girls, we won on this round. That tree is down and cut up. Merely a memory. Alright, off to chore number two. I love that site. My family working, working hard. I didn't see my son back there yet, but I'm sure he's there. Man, what a perfect, perfect day. Here's all my stuff. Okay, I got ya. And that is Dad, the Joe Cubicle guy. You know him? It's compound. Stinky stuff. Try to poop. Isn't that gross? It's gross. That's what we were doing. Just wants to level out just about from here to here. And from here to here. Now we shoveled uh, two yards. He says he needs about three more. So another load, maybe two loads, and that, that should do it. This is garden area. This is my father-in-law, Ted. This we're, is whose house we're, uh, we're... We're getting the garden ready for next next uh, summer. Yeah, we are. We're getting it leveled out so they can, uh, so can plant some. Tomatoes, them. string beans, corn, you name it, we're going to have it. It's going to be a big, big garden. Man. So what's your favorite thing to grow? Well, it's, boy, the string beans done good this year. Tomatoes didn't do no good. Nobody had good tomatoes, they said. Everybody I talked to. Think about putting two rows of corn all the way across, let it get up about a foot and a half to plant string beans. 
Let them run up the stalk. Stalks are strong. You have string beans and corn, man. That's it. And tomatoes, you know. And something here and there. So what, what, what did you think of those uh, boiled peanuts we gave you for your birthday? I ain't eating on yet. Oh, you haven't? No, I'm going to. See? I could save all these seeds, but uh, I didn't. I didn't save them. They probably come up here again. In his garden. Hey, did you used to um, did you used to get boiled peanuts down south? Oh yeah, that's all, man. You get them from South Carolina to Gulf Shores. And they just and sell them right on the road stand. Right on the road stands, road corners. In Foley, Alabama, they got a big warehouse just full of raw peanuts. Oh man, I bet that's good. Back at my house, and it's time to paint the porch. Also, going to blow the what little leaves I have out of my yard and driveway into the street, and have my son pick them up. So, here's what we're going to start with today. That's Zuko, our little kitty. Well, he doesn't look that little. He's a teenager cat, so he's kind of getting some size on it, but he's still very much a kitty. He likes to sit right there and watch what's going on on the porch. Well, that's my work day. Um, cut down a tree, help shovel dirt, move dirt, and paint the porch. I got one little extra thing to do, but that's not really worth videoing. Not saying that this is, but I did for today, and it's only uh, 2.30, and it's beautiful. So I think I'm gonna shut it down, clean up, put all my tools away, and uh, maybe go for a motorcycle ride, and then mess around with my laptop. I put Windows 7 Ultimate on last night, and it what was flawless and actually what's really interesting about that is I did a full install I didn't do the upgrade and when it was all said and done I checked out the C drive and I only had 90 gigs left out of a 220 gig hard drive I'm like what the heck it actually leaves all your data directories on there I had everything backed up so I saved myself a whole bunch of uh, transferring from my external hard drive back to the uh, to the C drive and it's pretty cool. The laptop runs really fast and it's all, all kinds of really neat stuff for Windows 7. So, so far, I'm okay with 7. Here's a, a kid's out playing with the boys next door. Look at all those leaves over there. Wow. It's a nice fall day, that's for sure. All right, so that's pretty much the end of, end of my Saturday, so. If you see any other footage after this, consider just bonus footage.